Thanks for joining me on episode 970 of the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. I'm Julie Taffalon. I challenge you to invest in yourself and others, to develop your influence and impact the world by using your time, talent, and treasures to live out your calling. Having the ability to communicate and build relationships is vital. And one inspirational way to develop that is to listen to this, the Inspired Stewardship Podcast with my friend Scott Mater. All of us have moments where these principles are hard for us to do. They're things that we don't put into practice. But the more often you can put them into practice, the more successful you will find yourself in the long term. And again, that's however you define success, however you define wealth. It will help you achieve it because it's really about how you manage yourself. Welcome and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. In today's episode about developing your influence through stewarding your treasures, I talk with you about 10 wealth-building principles. I also share why these 10 always apply, but we don't always believe it. And I also share why these principles are simple, but never easy. As we talk about stewarding your treasures, wouldn't it be great if you could support this podcast and do it without costing yourself an extra dime? Turns out you can. All you have to do is use inspiredstewardship.com slash Amazon when you're ready to make a purchase via Amazon, and a small commission will come back to support the show. If you enjoy the show when you're ready to buy from Amazon, just use inspiredstewardship.com slash Amazon. So I came across a friend of mine who was talking about 10 wealth building principles. And as I listened to him talk, I realized that these are indeed principles that apply to building wealth, no matter how you define wealth. Now, he was talking about monetary wealth, but actually these can be even deeper than that. So the first wealth principle that he was talking about is getting deeply motivated. You've heard me talk before about getting your why, finding what is the reason you want to do things. And that's what he's talking about here. The second that he shared was give more value than you take. In other words, put more out into the world than you take away. It's a better way to live. And what's funny is it also means more wealth will come your way, both monetary and others. The third wealth building principle, live with 100% integrity. In other words, be true to yourself, be honest, tell the truth, and be true to who you are. The fourth, be courageous. In other words, be out there and willing to be a self-starter and try things. Fifth, be disciplined. Focus on the daily habits, the little habits of success, doing the better things each and every day. The sixth, Avoid huge consumption. In other words, don't just spend everything you make and then some. Rather, instead, focus on delayed gratification and recognizing that leverage should not be used to buy. The seventh, build supportive environments. Surround yourself with people that have similar goals and want to see you succeed. The eighth, apply leverage to build wealth. Now, he is talking here about financial leverage, but more than that, it's also about using things like time leverage, systems leverage, technology as leverage, marketing, networking, knowledge, skills. It's about finding those things that you can do and leveraging them to generate more wealth. It's not about using debt to produce more wealth, or at least not only that. Y'all know that I avoid debt and don't use it. Some people do. I think it can be dangerous, but there are other kinds of leverage that I do focus on using. The ninth principle, treat your wealth like a business. In other words, treat the money you make as if its job is to help make more money or treat the other wealth goals that you have as if those are there to help you get more of that. 
And then the last, and this was the one that caused my ears to perk up, steward your wealth. Make sure that you are treating your wealth as something that should be beyond you, bigger than you, something that can leave a legacy, something that is more than just yours, but belongs bigger than that. Now, the truth is these 10 things always apply, but we often don't really believe it. We look at these sorts of things and we say to ourselves, this is too simple. This is too simplistic. This can't be the quote unquote secret to building wealth. But the truth is these sorts of simple principles are the real secret to building wealth. The truth is though that they're simple and easy to understand, and that's why we ignore them, but they're not easy to put into practice. That's the hard part. It isn't hearing them, it isn't understanding them, it's actually applying them. The number of people that will tell me they know that they should live on less than they make, but then when you look at their pocketbook, they don't do that year after year. Or the people that will say that they want to be a better steward of their time and their talent and their treasures, but then they don't manage to do that. Or they don't have a deep and passionate why. Instead, they just go through the motions of living day to day. All of us have moments where these principles are hard for us to do. They're things that we don't put into practice. But the more often you can put them into practice, the more successful you will find yourself in the long term. And again, that's however you define success, however you define wealth. It will help you achieve it because it's really about how you manage yourself. Think about it. All 10 of these really have to do with your mindset, with your behaviors, with your mentality, with your habits. They have to do with you. That's why I jokingly say that people come to me for help with their time. They come to me for help with their finances, but they really only get help with their talent because at the end of the day, the way you handle your time, the way you handle your treasures is the way you handle yourself. That's why these 10 principles are simple to understand, but not easy to put into practice because it's hard to change ourselves, but it's worth it when we really want to achieve what we believe is true. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard and find a way to live your calling. If you like this episode on the stewardship of treasures, you can sign up for our treasures tips by going to inspiredstewardship.com slash treasures or text in the U.S. 44222 treasures tips. And we'll send you five weeks of our best tips on stewarding your treasures. Until next time, invest your time, your talent, and your treasures. Develop your influence and impact the world.